Hi, and welcome to a Mobile App Developer Academy course on the topic of embedding videos. I'll be showing you the steps necessary to configure a video in your mobile app. Videos are useful when you want to embed information that's best communicated through animation or speech. Maybe the home screen of your app would benefit from a message from the CEO to employees or to a consumer audience. Or maybe you want to visualize a process through animation or give instructions through a video format just like we're doing with our Mata courses. Fortunately, this is easy to accomplish with MicroStrategy Mobile. There are two ways to store and present video content. The multimedia widget is the customary way we store videos and many other file formats, provided that your videos are stored in a web DAV or SharePoint directory structure that's integrated with MicroStrategy. The multimedia widget is convenient because it renders a view of available files and information about each file and it gives users the option to download files for offline use. Please watch our tutorial on the multimedia widget for a step-by-step -step guide to using this method. If you do not choose to use the multimedia widget, there is another way to store video content. You can't use the media widget that's available for DHTML and flash modes, but you can still embed a video into your mobile app by using an HTML container. For an HTML container, you can input content one of two ways. One, enter HTML code into the container, or two, provide an HTML messaging link in the container. For either method prior to using the HTML container, make sure that the video is uploaded online and that you have a hyperlink to it. Go to the menu bar and click Insert HTML Container. In this example, YouTube provides the HTML for embedding a video into your container. Simply copy, paste, and save the document. Here we are using the first method, entering HTML code into the container. Check the screen on an iPad to make sure the video content has been embedded properly. You can also enter your own HTML into the container. In this example, the area shows a static image that the user can tap on to view the video. You can follow this syntax below, replacing the italicized text with your own. Since the HTML code can be directly displayed in the document, you can use the container for other features you might want to display, such as stock tickers or real-time web pages. You can also edit the HTML container itself to include borders, drop shadows, and other custom formatting. If you simply enter a link into the HTML container, the HTML code is retrieved from the website. Here you are displaying the website using a type of HTML container called an iframe. This is the second way of using the HTML container. Additionally, a document can also open other applications installed on your device. This means that a document can open a video in an external application through a hyperlink. You can create your own image and use a link to take the user to the video. In this example, we have inserted a button image into the document. To link to a video, enter the URL under Properties and Formatting, General. Save the document and check to see how it works on your mobile device. Keep in mind that the quality of video streaming from a link on your mobile device depends on your network and relies on a fast connection. By downloading a video in advance and saving it for offline use later, as with the multimedia widget, you can be assured of the quality of the video when you need it. To sum up, you can include a video in your application in several ways. The multimedia widget is our preferred way of displaying file content, but if that doesn't work for you, you can embed a video with an HTML container, or you can link to the video directly from your MicroStrategy document. And that's a wrap for this Mata course on embedding videos.